What's up YouTube? Mike here from Techno GI and I wanted to do another quick video on the Galaxy Note Pro 12.2. <clears throat> now I did a video yesterday if you watched it and of course my freaking cat won't get out of the picture. I'm like freaking Dr. Doolittle over here. But um, <clears throat> I did a video on the Galaxy Note Pro 12.2 yesterday uh, just showing that you know how it compares to the iPad Pro and hands down I think it destroys the iPad Pro. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to give you seven ways to multitask on the Galaxy Note Pro 12.2. Of course, with the iPad Pro, you have one way and one way only, and that is called slide over. So with this, also you have slide over. So it's nothing more than you slide over and you pick the app that you want to put beside it. So in this case, we'll move YouTube. And as you can see, it works quite well. You can resize it, all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. So, we'll close this guy. So that is the first way. <clears throat> Second is you can hold the back button, which I don't know if you can see it, but on any Android device, you've got your um, multi-window button or your, I don't know what you call it, but you've got your home button and then your back button. So you just hold your back button and then again, it brings up your slide overview. So it's kind of like a shortcut, works the exact same way. <clears throat> and the next way, is to slide down from top left down and whatever app you're in it kind of essentially makes it into a small box and you can manipulate it you can move it around wherever you want it and bam we'll go ahead and make this guy big again so that's the third way the next is the pin window and of course you got to have a note model so you're going to have the S Pen and you just hover it over it, hit the button, brings up your, your thing here. And then you just type or uh, say tap pin window. And so when I do that, I can draw a square anywhere and it gives me the option to place one of my apps in this. And uh, I've already got that one open. Let's go. So when I do that, bam, it brings it up and you can move it around, split screen it, whatever you want to do. So, so we'll get rid of this guy. And let me go back to my one note. There you go. All right, so that would be the fourth way. So the fifth way, and this is one of my favorite features I just discovered actually yesterday playing around is you can create sets, uh, which basically is going to kind of help increase your workflow. And what I mean by that is, I've already made some just to show you. So, but down here, this is how you do it. You would hit create when you have um, multiple apps open. But is what this allows you to do is, you know, because a lot of times I like to use apps in conjunction. For instance, you know, if I'm going to use the, uh, the Bible, I like to have one note open with it. Or here's one I showed you where I had four and automatically brings all four of those up. So it's just a quick way to increase your workflow. And these all work uh, just as you suspect, uh, suspect. And you can resize it if you want one to be bigger than the other. Uh, so super awesome. And again, nothing close to this on the iPad. Another cool thing you can do is if you want to move them around, say I want to have this guy up here, bam. So pretty freaking awesome, if you ask me. Um, no complaints whatsoever. Um, so me, for me, ugh, that is probably my favorite feature. I mean, that's pretty stinking awesome. You got to admit, whether you're a fanboy for Apple or not, you got to admit that's a pretty cool multitasking feature. So next is, I don't know if there's an official name for it, but I call it App Heads. And uh, it's just like it sounds. So if you have multiple apps, like I do, say I want to take this guy and I'll just minimize them here. And when I go, as you can see, it creates an app head. So it follows me wherever I go. So if I go back home, I can move this guy around. And if I want to open him, I just tap on him. There we go. And it will bring it back open. So we'll go ahead and maximize him again. But that's an uh, app head. So that's six. And then finally, this is the seventh one, which again, I'm kind of learning as I go. 
One thing about Samsung is they are the Swiss army knife of tablets and phones. They literally cram every feature they can possibly cram into their devices, which is kind of cool. So I like to call Samsung the Swiss army knife of technology, essentially. But the next one, like I said, but what I mean by the burger bar is nothing more than I can tap the burger bar and it prompts me for uh, whatever app I want to bring up split, split view beside it. So I'll hit YouTube and it automatically does it. So pretty cool. Um, like I said, no complaints with this device. I think again, as a productivity device, I think this still knocks the socks off of the iPad. And as you can see, my internet sucks. It always does, so it takes forever to load. Not a limitation of the tablet, but more of a limitation of my internet. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. And uh, hopefully it helped you out and convinced you to, hey, you don't want to spend the cash on the iPad Pro, but you, you know, you want to get a giant tablet. So. This is the giant tablet I would recommend out of the giant tablet category, as I've coined it. Anyways, as always, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if not, give it a thumbs down. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. Thanks.